the pouring of their first brick of gold, Sand Gold Corporation out of Bassett, Manitoba, is now one of Canada's newest gold producers. Sand Gold is a, uh, is a growth company. It's a growth gold mining and exploration company. The emphasis uh, as far as employment is, uh, is bringing in the uh, people from the surrounding communities and the local communities, making them part of this and this makes for a better company. And uh, we, we, aren't, uh, we aren't high profile yet, but we're growing quite, quite rapidly. Flat management, uh, very, very uh, skilled management and people. And uh, we're, you know, it just our whole business model uh, involves the local communities and keeping a, a loyal, dedicated workforce. It's been uh, quite a long time coming, but uh, it was well worth the wait. Uh, there was a lot of happy people there yesterday, and uh, of course I was one of them, but uh, we were very, very pleased with the number of people that showed up, particularly the number of people from the surrounding communities and the number of shareholders that showed up for, uh, for our events yesterday. It was uh, very gratifying. Gold was discovered here at Rice Lake, on the shore of Rice Lake, in 1911. And it wasn't until uh, 1932 that the mine actually went into production. And it went into production uh, at a low rate in 1932 and gradually increased up to about 550 tons per day. Uh, very successful mine, uh, the first mine in Manitoba to ever pay a dividend. We've, um, we've got two existing deposits that we're mining. Within a space of a year, we found two more that we're looking at mining. So it's, it's a real growth story. We're, uh, you know, we, start, we started at point A um, just over two years ago, basically borrowing a few dollars to make our first option payment, uh, which was a fraction, of course, of the cost of our purchase. And then uh, most people didn't think we could pull this off. Uh, so here we are, two years later, with uh, two operating mines, a uh, mill, 200 person workforce, uh, price of gold that's doubled from what we started at, two new deposits that are yet to be developed. That's what tells you where they go and mine, where they find the good ore bodies. Aggressive exploration program uh, that, that we're quite confident will, will turn up a lot more gold. So it's got all the ingredients. Uh, it's got production, it's got blue sky potential, exploration potential. And uh, we've got all the expertise. To so, did you guys find the gold in here? <laughs> yeah, we were thinking we were thinking that gold right? mine in Indonesia. <laughs> That's called fool's gold. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> real gold. In the red circles, see the red circles? Yeah. That stuff there, if I was to wet it, would just stand right out. That's the real. That's the real stuff right there. Oh, yeah. I've been told about uh, how uh, Sand Gold is approaching uh, its operations here. I know that there are approximately 170 uh, employees here, and a uh, good 70% uh, are first or Aboriginal people, and uh, we that's so very very important. Uh, and uh, I congratulate you for your approach. It, we know that it's going to work, and anything that we can do as a national organization to to support and uh, this very positive development which is good for, not just for Bisset or the region, it's good for the, the province, it's good for the entire country. Because this is one, I think, only uh, the only active uh, gold mine in the province. One of five new mines uh, in the country. And uh, that's just tremendous. I congratulate you and uh, wish you much success in the future. And anything that we can do as a national organization, please f feel free to call on us. Good showing from the east side Lake Winnipeg communities. Uh, Southeast Manitoba, uh, Phil Fontaine, which was we were very honored actually to have him, at, uh, uh, and a few uh, representatives from from the government of Manitoba. Uh, but more, you know, mostly we really appreciated the uh, 
the local communities sending their support and uh, even a few presentations and gifts. So we, you know, we feel like uh, the impact we're making, you know, is being felt there for sure. A lot of times we're uh, given opportunity to meet some fine people, eh? I'd like to uh, present this rock I got right from his mind. <laughs> this is my gift or our gift to Hugh because he helped us out. So here's your rock. I just decorated a little bit for you. Not only, I mean, is it is it a business, but uh, we it makes good business sense to uh, keep you know retain the people from the local area. Uh, they're they're loyal. They care about you know the effects of what we're doing, and uh, they care about our profitability. And they're not uh, not so quick to jump to the next site. This grand opening of the mine was not only a dream of two men, Dell. Again, and you win. It was the dream of a whole community. And I think it's great that this uh, mine has reopened. It's going to be great job opportunities. And I know that a lot of Métis people work here. And we'll continue to work here and we'll train. And we really appreciate this mine opening. The third choice was because there is a large pool of employable people within the area, our decision a year and a half ago was that we would take the third option and uh, recruit people from the neighboring communities and even if they had no experience at all, we would provide training programs that would ultimately make them capable and efficient miners. Them, but you don't have very much water pressure. I see that. Now is uh, go through and uh, digest, read this information. Uh, for some, of, for both of you, it's probably uh, be a lot of review, but you need to refresh that. So. We have now about a year's experience with this, and it's worked out exceptionally well.